Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. So welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Please thumbs up if you enjoy the reading and also please leave a comment down in the comment section below if the reading resonates for you, okay? So this is a general collective reading, okay? This reading is gonna be for those karmic third-party connections. Disclaimer right now before I get into this reading, I am not here to trigger or offend anyone. If you are triggered or offended, I don't know what to tell you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, you know, <clears throat> readings are messages, okay? The messages come forward as spirit provides them to the reader. So every message may not resonate with you. It may be someone else's message, but let it flow. Don't take it personal, all right? So let's find out. I'm gonna we're, we're gonna ask a few questions here in this reading, and the questions we're going to ask is one, what is the head and heart space of the divine masculine? Two, what is his current energy? What is the current energy between him and his karmic slash third party situationship? Okay. And four, what are his intentions towards the divine feminine? Okay. What are his intentions there? All right. So let's take a look at it. All right. Let's see what's in his head space first, and then we'll go into his heart space. <clears throat> All right, Holy Spirit. Divine Source, please show me the messages for the collective, my viewer subscribers, in regards to the Divine Masculine. What is currently in the Divine Masculine's headspace? Like, what is he thinking right now um, towards about his third party situation? Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> so right now, he feels like he may be in this situation with a karmic or third party. Um, for those of you who are new to tarot, let me just explain a little bit. Karmic refers to the other person, right? Somebody else that your person may be in a connection with. Maybe you found this out along the road. Maybe you knew up front for some of you, but a lot of times you don't know until later on down the road, you've developed a bond with this person and boom, you find out, oh, you got, you still stay with your baby mama? Are you still married to this woman over here? Oh, you have a man already. Like that's, that's what we call karmic. Also in the tarot community, karmic is <clears throat> referred to a connection that is very unhealthy. It's very imbalanced. It's very one-sided. Um, usually it's referred to as unrequited love situation. So if you hear the word karmic, tie all of that to it, okay? Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, your divine masculine is in a situation with a karmic slash third party, okay, that um, for him provides him financial stability. That's why he's there. He's comfortable where he's at because he doesn't have to do much. That's already a red flag right there, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother reading. <clears throat> what else is in the Divine Masculine's headspace? Well, I had the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So that tells me this relationship has been on the rocks for a while. It's been on the rocks for a while. It's been up and down. Queen of Swords. He's stuck with a bitch. Queen of Swords. That's This is what's in his headspace. For those who are sensitive to... to, to you know, cuss words, this is not the video for you, okay? I gave my disclaimer. I gave my warnings. If you're triggered, don't know what to tell you. Queen of Swords, in her toxic, low vibrational energy, she can be a bitch. She will be that person to tell you off. She will be that person to cut you off. She will be that person to cut you. Some of y'all, you're dealing with a divine masculine who has um, a third party, baby mama, ex-wife, whoever it is who's very jealous who's highly insecure. She questions everything that he does. She goes through his phone. She checks his clothes. She smells him like all kinds of crazy stuff. <clears throat> he feels stuck in the situation because she's the breadwinner. Queen of Pentacles. She's the breadwinner. That's why he's stuck there. For some of you, this could be, um, <clears throat> yeah. For vice versa. Okay. So apply the rose where they fit if you're a man watching this video it's the opposite but it's for a female like she's stuck with a dude that he's a he's pretty much a bitch he complains about every damn thing that happens he's always questioning her whatever the case is so she can't she doesn't she feels stuck she feels trapped he's the breadwinner so she can't really be free to be with you who she wants to be with right <clears throat> we have the magician here on the bottom of the deck okay 
And the magician is the one who has the power, okay? The magician is the co-creator. And so the divine masculine is trying to utilize his resources, think about ways, whether it's financially, getting support from other people, how he can get out of the situation. He's trying to manifest and co-create a new reality for himself. For some of you, he's trying to get out and start over. But it's going to be hard when you've got a queen of swords. Because <clears throat> guess what? There's romantic feelings tied. For those of you who your divine masculine has children with his broad, there's romantic feelings tied. She has feelings for him and he does have feelings for her as much as he might want to lie and tell you he doesn't. He does. All right? Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. He is trying to move forward though. And he's ready to start over. The, the page of wands is about, you know, exciting new adventures, making plans, moving forward, being single, independent, okay? This is your divine masculine energy. This is in his head. Like, he in his head space, that's what he wants to do. He wants to do his own thing. And he wants to actually take this cup because the cup is, the knight of cups is in the opposite direction, like this way. So he wants to take this cup and actually take it away from the karmic third party, and bring it to the person that he actually loves, which would be his divine feminine, which is you, okay, viewer, or divine masculine. Like I said, switch the roles where need be, all right? <laughs> we have the empress here on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, your person has children with the karmic, okay? Or the karmic is pregnant for some of you. This is some of that juicy drama that some of the people like to hear about. Um, but yeah, that's... That's what it is for some of y'all. That's what the issue is. For some of y'all, you might get a message. You might find out through social media, through Facebook or something, through another person that the karmic is pregnant. That's why he hasn't left her. That's why he's still hanging on. Or some of you already know this and you know that he has kids with this broad, like I said, and he's not just willing to let go. And that could be why those feelings are there. But there's not a cup's energy. Those loving feelings are there because he doesn't want to just leave his kids. Okay. Spirit, thank you. Confirm Confirmation here. Three of cups. You are definitely dealing with someone who's dealing with someone else. All right. <clears throat> but in his headspace, the divine masculine is trying to move forward. He's trying to start over and trying to create something new for himself because he's not happy, but he doesn't have the financial capability of moving on his own and doing his own thing. So he's trying to figure it out. Okay. With the magician here. Let's find out what is in his heart space. How does he feel? How does the divine masculine feel towards the karmic slash third party spirit? How does the divine masculine feel towards the karmic third party? Um, the ace of wands popped up and that tells me that a lot of this relationship was based on chemistry, instant attraction, could be fire signs, dealing with each other. Um, lust, right? The world. <clears throat> The world is cycle completion. How he feels, he feels fed up. He feels like he's done. He's ready to move. He's ready to relocate with the world because the world is about travel also, distance, going the distance, moving away from the situation. How does he feel? How does he feel towards the karmic third party? Holy Spirit, showing the messages for the divine masculine. How is he feeling towards the karmic third party? Knight of Wands. Like I said, there's a lot of chemistry there. There may have been a good sexual relationship between the two of them. A lot of passion. But he's ready to be single and be free to do his own thing with this Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands also carries the energy outside of <laughs> the bump and grind. He carries this energy of being free-spirited to come and go as he pleases. Come and go as he pleases. Um, he, He's ready to be happy with the sun. He's ready to go to what makes him happy. He also, he also could be dealing with this female that he's dealing with. She could be very controlling and manipulative with the sun here because the sun in, in, in low vibrational energy is narcissistic and he could be dealing with a narcissistic female. Now, like I said, um, messages won't resonate for everyone that's viewing, viewing the video, but, um, if this resonates, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. If this is your situation, if this is your divine masculine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This broad is controlling. She tells him what to do and how to do it. If it, if, it, if it doesn't go the way that she wants it to go, all hell breaks loose, all right? That's the type of person he's dealing with. How does he feel? That he's going to have to stand up. He's going to have to stand up to her. For some of you, for some of you, your divine masculine is a coward. Like he, like he really shies away at being assertive and aggressive when it comes to standing up for his rights. 
and and moving forward to what makes him happy. And that's why he's in that situation, right? But I mean, if you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. Like you chose to be with her. You, you chose to be in that situation. It's always a choice. Just keep that in mind as you're watching this reading. But if you're dealing with someone who's in a third party situation, dealing with a karmic, that you that you have highly suspect, and if you have proof that they're cheating, like they dip it on the side, just know that that's a choice and it has nothing to do with you. You listen, you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleets, okay? Enough said. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Um, how does he feel? He feels like she's defensive towards him. Like she's jealous. She doesn't trust him. But he also is defensive towards her. So I feel like he's always having to defend himself. Because he's not happy. He's not happy. That's why he's trying to get out so he can go towards what makes him happy. For some of y'all, this, this third party, this karmic, whoever this is, is going to take the divine mask in the court justice. He's going to settle out of court. For some of y'all, he may finally actually go through with a divorce. If it's already been filed, he may actually already, like he may actually have the money to find, to finalize that divorce. For some of you, it's a custody battle. There's a child in question with this justice card and that's what's holding him up. That's the hiccup. For some of y'all, he wants things to be fair when he leaves because he doesn't want the drama, but he already has his guard up because he knows he's going to have to stand up to her. All right. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the current energy between Divine Masculine and his third party karmic? What is the current energy between those two? Right now, what's the current energy? Ooh, distant. What did I tell you? Distant. He's ready to go the distance. Remember I had the world card here and I said that just a little bit ago? He's ready to move. Like there's not any love in this connection anymore. He doesn't want to be there. He's not happy with her. Tell me more. What's the current energy between DM and the karmic, please? Um, heartache. It's just been nothing but a struggle. It's been nothing but pain, sadness, sorrow in this connection. He's not happy. Heartache. It's a clear indication that somebody ain't happy. We have evolved. We have evolved. And for some of you, the divine masculine is actually starting to wake up and realize that this wasn't meant to be. You see this on the bottom of the deck? This relationship between him and this third party karmic was not meant to be. He thought it was. He was under an illusion. Um, and the karmic thought it was. They both thought it was. But this relationship was put together to help teach them a lesson like I explained in the beginning of the video. Karmic relationships are there to help us realize things about ourselves as well as about, about our partner that's unattractive. Things that we don't want in relationships. We have own little world. Yeah. Own little world. Like, you know, she may have wanted things to turn out a certain way. He may have wanted things to turn out a certain way, but it didn't quite do that. And so the relationship becomes toxic because no matter how much lying goes on, cheating goes on, sneaking around for him to have met you, divine feminine or divine masculine, flip the rose as needed. Some lying had to go down. Some sneaking had to go down. Because if, they're, if they were engaged in a connection with you, trying to entertain you while they were still entertaining this third party slash karmic, tell me how. We had wonderment. The karmic is in awe because the karmic, for some of y'all, the karmic knows about you. She just hasn't made it known that she knows. Like she doesn't, he doesn't know that she knows about you, okay? But she's wondering. We have addiction. We have addiction. For some of y'all, this karmic third party individual is very, very codependent. And that's why um, it's been difficult for the, the DM to let go. We have lovesick. Some of y'all are lovesick over the situation, but so is the karmic. She feels like she still has a lot of love for him. She's constantly thinking about him. Where is he at? Is he over there with her? Is he doing this? Is he doing that? 
that's constantly on her mind, she suspects something. Hard to let go for some of y'all. This is very, very difficult. The energy between the karmic, the third party, and the divine masculine is that he wants to let go because I feel like the divine masculine is addicted to the love that you provide for him, divine feminine. But at the same time, it's hard for him to let go because he still does have feelings for this third party karmic. But at the end of the day, she's a karmic lover. She plays games. You see the mask she's got on. She plays games. She hides her emotions. Sometimes she may act like she don't care. Sometimes she might act like a straight up dude and want to get in his face and fight and cuss and all this other stuff. Then at other times, we have display of affection. Then she wants to be all over him, you know, kissing him, hugging him, whatever the case may be. She try to act like she cares when she doesn't. <clears throat> For some of y'all, the karmic has got somebody else on the side. Right? Chew on that for a minute. For some of y'all, <laughs> the masculine that you're dealing with, the karmic that he's dealing with has somebody else. I know it's a whole hot mess, but it is what it is. All right. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Holy Spirit, show me what are the divine masculine's intentions towards the divine feminine. Or if it's the other way around, divine masculine. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to say that because I have both male and female viewers. Most most of my viewers are fem feminine, but I just, you know. What are, what are DM's intentions towards the divine feminine? Queen of Wands. He wants to come towards you, divine feminine queen of wands. He's going to gather the confidence that the Queen of Wands carries to come towards you. Because right now, London bridges are falling down. We have the tower moment. He's coming to some realizations and some major changes are about to take place. They're on the verge of, they're on the verge. Like I said, some of you, they're on their way to going to court. They're trying to get, you know, custody situated. Like the Divine Masculine is really on his game right now because he's trying to figure out, um, He's also going to make the decision to come towards you. He is. For some of y'all, it's not for everyone because this came out in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. He's no longer juggling. He's finally made that decision. Um, Seven of Cups. At one point, he was still trying to figure out what his options were. But for a lot of you, he's tired of being heartbroken. He's ready to come towards you, Divine Feminine. He's, 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 he's ready to come towards you for a lot of y'all. He's ready to come towards you. Like I said, the messages won't resonate with everyone, but he's he's not happy. He's heartbroken. He's grieving in this connection with the karmic third party. He's not happy there. As a matter of fact, he feels he may have lost some money, especially if he's filing for a divorce or he's trying to file for um, if she's filing child support and he's trying to get custody. She may be trying to get money out of him. So he may be suffering karma because of the poor choices that he made in partners. I mean, like I said, what goes around comes around. You lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. And that's why people have to be careful in general of who you decide to procreate with or have relations with. Nine of, 10 of wands, yeah. He's stressed out because, yeah, he's losing some finances or he has lost some in this situation. It's been highly stressful and drama filled. 10 of wands, nine of wands. Look at this. He's been through a lot. He's nervous, nine of swords. I feel like he's nervous and worried that he might lose his connection with you. Nine of swords. For some of y'all, he's going to come rushing in to reach out to offer you an opportunity for stability. He wants a new start with you, Divine Feminine. So just so some of y'all know, he ain't on that BS no more. All right? So that's been your third party karmic update between the divine masculine and the karmic and what his intentions are towards you, divine feminine or masculine, flip the roles as needed. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if it resonates, please drop a comment down in the comment section below. Thumbs up and subscribe because I will be doing a monthly giveaway. And until next time, love you guys.